Well, welcome to JS Metal Craft. Well, today I wanted to get some updated pictures of the Shadrach Amelkin's rocket stove. Um, um, somebody asked to see it. See some pictures of it working, and so anyway, while we're at it, we're getting our uh, album all updated. So while I was waiting for the uh, my breakfast here to cook, I thought if I'd record for a little bit here, um, not keeping any. I mean, it's already been started before I started filming, and we're not. I'm not timing anything or any in any race just uh, just kind of proving a point here or get a snap a couple of pictures of some cooked bacon if that's probably don't excite too many people but that's what we're doing so this will be recording and maybe somebody would in, like to write along Today we're about a ten and a half inch log skillet. As you can see, the stove is plenty big. To cook a sizable meal. Dogs here getting all excited over nothing. And as you see, we can just reach down there every now and then and throw a couple more sticks in there. And I'm just I'm under the trees here, uh, just outside the shop. Uh, let's see, we got a locust tree and a uh, pine tree now I'm just sitting here on the ground it was a little bit wet, we had some rain here today as you can see a little bit of a breeze if you really wanted to get in a hurry with the stove Turn the burn chamber right into the end of the wind. It kind of forces a little bit more air into there, more air. Once you got plenty of fuel in there, like we do, uh, she'll cook away. But looks like it's about the right temperature. Yeah, she wouldn't want to. A whole lot bigger pan. Uh, not that the stove wouldn't hold it, but and just like uh, I guess a, a burner in the house, the, the center seems to be a little, little bit hotter. You got to move the pieces of bacon that are on the outside, uh, move them in the middle, and the ones that are in the middle, uh, move them out the side so they all get done at the same time. But. The heck if we're all locked up in our houses and they shut everything off by uh, how fast or how good it gets it done is irrelevant it's just to, just to get it done and we're getting it done here today Okay, bacon's about done. Kind of let the fire go down just a little bit. It's a little on the warm side for an egg, but let's just pretend like we're just in a bad rush. And of course, didn't bring any salt and pepper out here. But 
Again, we're uh, demonstration purposes only, and people probably don't like when I do that. But I like my yolks broken. Here's what it is. Eggs all flipped over here. You can see how nice it don't then it'll just slide around in that uh, cast iron pan. And you won't get that with just a uh, off the shelf lodge pan. Take her in the shop and degrease it. Get the old grinder out and polishing pads and uh, just smooth her down as smooth as you can uh, get down there. And, uh, just uh, Take a modern pan and turn it into an old antique. I think I bought this thing off of Amazon as a used or a return or 99% of the time it's just the package gets uh, ripped or something and anyway no no evidence that it had ever been used. Uh, I don't know nine or ten bucks ship. <clears throat> I bought several different sizes and them kind of watch. Dump some uh, oven cleaner on them, take all that pre-seasoning off. Sit down in the shop with some uh, 120 grit flap disc uh, on the angle grinder and we just smooth her all the way down and uh, got a little, uh, oh, what do you call it, like a scratch pad 3M. Anyway, just get her as smooth as we can and then uh, re-season them and uh, this is what you end up with. So, well, you figure your time, you got $30, $40 into a pan, but you're not going to buy a, one of the collectibles for that kind of money. All right, there we go. We're, I, we call that good. We're going to go eat. Thanks for watching.